Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to learn how to install VirtualBox. So we just head over to Google and type in VirtualBox and hit enter. Then we're going to click on the first link here that says VirtualBox. So I'm going to click on that. So this is a powerful open source virtualization software. Here, I have to choose the platform I want to install VirtualBox. And I have a Windows operating system. So I'm going to click on Windows Host. So here, it's asking me to save my download. I'm going to put that on the desktop. And it says save. So the virtual boss is uh, around 117 MB. So it's downloading right now. At the end of this download, I'll come back to continue the video. The next thing for me to do is to install the virtual boss. So to do that, I right click on it and run as admin. Click on run, click on yes, so I click on next, I have to accept the license, I click on next. Now here is the interface for us to choose where we are going to install virtual bus, but I want it to be on drive C, so I click next. So here is a warning that installing Oracle Virtual Bus will reset my network connection. So it means that if I have an active download, it's going to affect it. But I have nothing downloading at the moment, so I'm going to click on Next. So here I just need to click on Yes. And here is an option to create shortcuts and other things. So I, I want to leave them the way it is, so I'm going to say Next. And right now, I'm going to install. So I'm going to click on finish while this is checked to start the Oracle Virtual Bus. And this is the Oracle Virtual Bus. Now it's time to install the Kali Linux Virtual Machine. The reason why we install the Virtual Bus is because our Kali Linux Virtual Machine is going to live and depend on the Virtual Bus. So to do that, I have Kali Linux here on my desktop. So I'm going to click on New which could stand for new installation. And here, I need a name. So you can call it anything you want, but for easy identification, I'm going to call it Kali Linux. And this is the folder where it's going to be installed. So the next is um, ISO image. So I'm going to drop this down. Click on others. 